Welcome to day 23 slash 9. These little cheapers are 9 days with me. We've had uh, Harriet, who's been in question over here in the corner. We would, uh, we would mark her as failure to thrive. Um, she is getting better. We, we did have to do some more intervention. Um, some more sticky poo. Um, the poo is still not stable. Uh, she wasn't eating or drinking. So, um, I've, through my observations, I've noticed that, uh, these, these three fine fe feathered friends over here aren't so fine to their fe fellow feathered friends. They're kind of bullies. They're the biggest ones, and they, they like to, especially Ch Dale. Dale is a bit of a jerk, honestly. Um, got a bit of a Falco vibe going. Falco kind of acted like that. Um, but yeah, Chip is, uh, Chip is a nasty, a nasty, nasty guy. Girl. Chicken. Dale is very mild-mannered and, um, doesn't like to, uh, get involved. So you see he's over here. I've, I've, I've employed a strategy because putting Harriet by herself, which is what should be done, stresses me out and her <laughs> because she chirps so much. So, um... I have taken to um, strategically placing their food in three different areas because um, Harriet doesn't really seem to like to eat out of these holes. As you, good Lord, someone threw some confetti in their food. Um, she doesn't like to stick her head in there. It seems like she, she's she's kind of timid about it. it. But if you put if you put food like down on the ground or in an open container like this. She loves it. See, there she is, elbowing her way in, winging her way in to get in there with them. And, and she'll do that. But yesterday, like last evening, she seemed almost too weak to do that. Like they would shove her out of the way and she would fall down in awkward positions. And hey, now what? Ozzy, seriously? Anyway, so yeah, she's she's gaining strength today. She was drinking on her own. Um, she's obviously eating. I gave them some grit as well. Um, I thought maybe that could be the issue because she, it, when she would eat, I noticed like I, sometimes when I, when I fill this feeder, I will put like a, a like a stack, like a, a roadrunner stack of grain on the top and they go nuts, you know, and they start eating and, and pecking at the top of it and they peck at it forever just to get every little bit of dust off the top of it. And she was very, she really liked the smaller chunks. And when she would eat the larger chunks, um, they, they do this thing when they get a drink of water where they kind of lift their head up, almost like they're letting it flow down. That's what she would do when she would eat larger chunks of food. Like, and she would, she would chew like a lot. Like it was like, she was almost like trying to break it up in her mouth. So um, I started watching when the, that little frenzy would happen and she would actually eat, I would check her and there was nothing on her neck. Like usually they get the, like that bump right there that Dale is sporting. That's the crop. It shows that he's recently eaten. That was not existent on Harriet. You could feel nothing on her chest but her little chest bone. So I was concerned that maybe she was born with some kind of birth defect where she maybe doesn't have a crop or it just doesn't process things properly or, you know, the crop doesn't hold the food. It actually like just goes straight through because her poos are extremely watery and extremely runny. Um, I've researched a lot and I can't necessarily find a specific, this is the problem. You know, it could be a genetic defect. It could be a birth defect. It could be damage in shipping. It could be stress. <laughs> it could be just a, a list, a laundry list of things that it could be. So I am just treating the symptoms the best I can and hoping for the best, trying to encourage her to eat. Um, I was having, I had to force her to drink water a couple times because I hadn't seen her hit the water dish in quite some time. And I was afraid that she was getting dehydrated because <clears throat> she was very weak, very lethargic, completely off on her own, um, barely moving around. So, um, you know, emergency action had to, uh, had to be taken. So 
she's much better today. Again, she it's up and down. She'll she'll do really well, and then she'll just stand off in the corner and go downhill. Show no interest in food or anything else. Uh, these guys are doing great. Um, Ozzy there checking himself out. That's really sexy there, buddy. Uh, but you can see the crop that, that he's sporting. He's been eating very well. Um, yeah, I got to keep an eye on that and make sure that it does, you know, doesn't stay like that because that's that's a little large there, Oswald. So yeah, Dale's Dale is is growing now, and he's also, or I'm sorry, Chip, Chip is growing the little chunk. Um, it's growing and um, it's getting, you know, very um, a lot more active. Like these these three are. Yeah, Gwen, Ozzy, and Chip. Or Dale. <laughs> Gwen, Ozzy, and Dale. This one right here. They are very, very active. Yeah, they're good. So these two were on my list of concern. Chip is no longer on my list of concern. Harriet, definitely on my list of concern. So it's good to see her eating. All right, in the kindergarten room. Not so kindergarten anymore. These guys are getting so big so fast, yet again. There's old Mofo Jojo just popping on the browns and reds. It's uh it's definitely I I'm not even sure. Yeah, I guess I guess she was like completely white at one point, but it seems like the neck feathers didn't come out white at all. And then little fief over here she's starting to uh, fluff up everybody's got their full phyllis dillers in effect <laughs> all of the white ones they look uh again like they've uh, they've got their feather boas on and uh felicity's got more tail feathers parabola huge tail feathers coming out really progressing very well his shoulders are getting the getting the, the wings going oh <laughs> Yeah, I've, I've decided that either I'm just no good with sapphire breeds of chickens like sapphire gems and sapphire splash or they're not the hardiest of breeds. Um, they don't grow nearly as fast, I don't think, as other breeds like these ISAs or God forbid the Starlights. <laughs> Falco. Fal Falco just amazes me because Lateralis is the same chicken. It, it, they're the same breed and and look at falco okay and then look at lateralis like they 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 look like they're a full maybe two weeks past each other it's crazy and you know jack is a, a reasonable size falco <laughs> ah. condor and these guys fiddle and faddle they are Starting to be my faves down here. Like them, like them. Yeah, <laughs> Laddie is definitely the most skittish. She does not come around at all. Jack is starting to come around a little bit. He doesn't run for the hills when I stick my hand in there now. He come he comes up to me, he's a little more brave. These two, they I think they would probably like peck my eyeballs out if I let them. They're not scared of anything. And Falco, same thing. Not scared. Falco doesn't like to be touched as much though. We're working on that. But Falco's not not necessarily a, a he's a per, or she's a personal space kind of gal. And Laddie is definitely she's just a, a terrified bird all the time. Running, running, running. She's uh, very energetic. <laughs> and Jack is too. And Jack's really getting the, the brown the same as... More like um, more like Wi-Fi. Jack is browning like Wi-Fi. Like, it's just splotchy. It's not necessarily like full-on going brown. Like, uh, like someone we know. So yeah. Everything's great and grand. There's little Felicity. Let's look at those tail feathers, girl. You strut them. Look at that. These chickens will live. They will. You will live. Yeah, I really hope they do. I think they're so pretty. I'm excited about them. As if you couldn't think you probably couldn't tell, huh? Yeah. Oh, gracious. Clumsy. 
the uh, definition of grace right here. This is not a chicken, for sure. They, they aren't the most graceful of things as of yet. I'm sure they'll they'll uh, acquire some grace, but uh, right now they're they're pretty freaking clumsy. Pretty clumsy. All right, let's review one more time. And there's Harriet over by herself, like like she's being punished over in the corner. Bad chicken. That's the reflection room for all bad chickens, I guess. Looks like she, her crop's kind of sticking out a little more now. That's why I gave her grit, because I thought maybe, like, if she had something in there that maybe was uh, a little grittier, that maybe that would uh, start the start the process of processing. I don't know. We'll see. Like I said, she's more active now than she was earlier or last night, so... Yep, getting right in there. Good, good, good. Okay, we'll see what happens. Oh, update on plants. One sec. This is the broclopod. Not a cephalopod, but a broclopod. It's really... <laughs> I would take a guess and say that's more than one seed. Yeah, that's a bunch of seeds in there. So... Apparently, my original propagation plan was not a failure. There's one. They're really starting to uh, to come alive. Or this could be from what I just did. It said it would take 7 to 10 days for the broccoli. It's only been like 3, I think. 3 or 4. So, nothing there. Oh, look there. That was the one from yesterday. Got some more coming up. So, yeah. This is going very well, but I, I don't know why I was nervous about it. I was. I, I thought, man, I don't know. This seems really difficult. And then I remembered when I was in, you know, I don't know, third grade, and we got the pea seeds, and we put them in the paper towel, and kept, you know, we moistened them up every day, and waited for the pea seed to sprout, and then wrote a little report about it. Yeah, some people did them as science projects, nothing in the cabbage patch. Nothing at all. All's quiet. Cue the crickets over here. Good lord. Uh, that might be a little bit of something, but it could be... Oh, I think that is. I think that's a little bit of something, something in there, but it could be the broccoli from the unfortunate event. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Chickens are well. Broccoli's broccoliing. The broccolipod. Yeah. Oh, what's this? Do do. And I do believe a little do do there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tomorrow's supposed to be full sun, a little cooler. It was freezing today, trying to spit snow. It's a it's a roller coaster here in West Virginia in February and March and April. Weather's uh weather's like you just gotta pack everything. Going to the store, you better take a jacket, a light jacket a sweater, and possibly a tank top because you might come out of the grocery store and it be, you know, full sun, 80 degrees with maybe like 70% humidity. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's West Virginia. All right, everybody, have a great day.